Welcome to Any FM. Please subscribe, subscribe. Today we're going to talk about the three uses of corn. We can use it for gankenke, for banku, for tuza, for visa, Ghanaian foods. Today we're going to focus on how to make gankenke at home from the scratch. Things you would need are the fresh or dry corn or the dry corn husk. And for me, I'm using the fresh corn and so it's quite difficult to take the kennel from the cob. Quite difficult. So I decide to divide the carb into two halves and then remove the kennel from the sideways when you do that it's quite easy and it's quite fast to get off the carb this is what i'm doing you can also have your own way of doing it it doesn't matter how but for me this is the quickest and the easiest if it's that fresh and you remove it you can remove everything from the carb but then if you try to remove directly from the carb you can realize that it's quite difficult because it tear apart because it's very fresh it still has some water in it so this is the way i detach the kennel from the carb sideways like I said, what we are preparing today is called gan kenke. Gan kenke is consumed in most parts of Ghana, West Africa. It has a lot of health benefits. But before we start talking about it, we just talk about how to prepare it. And in between, I'll tell you about the health benefits. Now, if you remove it like this from the car, people would like to dry it, but I don't. Normally, I'll just go ahead and just wash the corn twice with regular temperature of water. Nutrients that you can get if you do this, if you soak it into the water, uh, it lowers the fat content. It contains high fiber and selenium and it contains iron as well. So this is what I do. I wash it twice. Gar kenke is basically kneaded corn dough that is cooked in dried plantain leaves sometimes, but I'm using the corn leaves itself, which is, um, I think it makes sense, especially if you're an expert living abroad, it's quite difficult to get some of these foods. And so it's better that you prepare it yourself. So I've done my first washing and my second um, washing, I'm going to uh, now add enough water enough water and then also soak it for two to three days in my case i soaked it for two days now i actually covered so that i can avoid insects because you know that these type of things can breed insects or what we call pests or something and so um, i normally would cover it with a kitchen paper um, to avoid that then i change the water the next day to avoid any foul smell i change the water the second day you can decide to change the water on the third day and cover it again now you see that if you cover water can travel so you have to make sure that when you cover it um you would not get the water all around because the water can pass through the paper or the cloth and just um you know spread everywhere now i have already soaked mine into um uh for three days now two days actually and the final day is i put it in a colander and drain the water out and do so you know for hygiene you know purposes i try to wash it a little bit again and also leave it in the bowl yes so i'm going to leave it in the bowl and let it dry for about 30 to one hour 30 minutes to one hour um, even though I want my dough to be that soft, it's, you know, I don't know, it's kind of a tradition that we leave it until everything is drained out. Then step five is to blend or grind. If you have a grinder, better. If you have a blender, you might have to blend in the bigger blender. And the second time blending, you might blend in the smaller um, one to smoothen it out. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. The nutrients of this food process is to gain a lot of vitamin A, C, E, K, B and also uh, pantothenic acid, riboflavin, thiamine, niacin and folates. Now we move to step five. You have to actually, yes, our corn is ready already. So yeah, you have to make sure it's smoothing out and then you get, you get the corn dough like this. Now you have to mix it with cornstarch with just a little water mix the cornstarch and then add it to the corn dough and also keep it so this is the way um i prepare it i just mix it with just a little bit of water and then mix it with the corn dough that we already have and um 
also leave it for additional two days. The reason for leaving it for two days before preparing is for it to ferment. So the actual taste is when the corn or the corn mixture is fermented. This is how you get the taste. So for our garken kit, we're going to use the corn husk or the corn peel uh, to prepare it. But the other type of kenke, you might have to use the plantain um, peels. So this is how I cover it. Always make sure you cover it with a cloth or a kitchen paper uh, so that you can get the consistency exactly like you want to. Step seven, you have to mix water and parboil um, the mixture for about five to seven minutes. Then when you finish, you scoop it and wrap it in the dry corn husk or the peel. Now you have to... You know, you have you, there are several ways of wrapping it. You can wrap it, but you make sure it looks like this. Okay, and yay! So it's ready. You just add a little bit of water, put it in a pan, and cook. When you cook, it looks like this. This is how I'm going to eat it. You can eat it with so many things. Um, you can eat with fried fish, black and red pepper mixture. You can also eat with avocado, fried fish, and um, dried fish as well. And like this one, avocado, dry fish and black pepper. So you can eat it with vegetables or any other gravy or sauce that you want. Thanks for watching. Eat well, eat green. Subscribe.